Hey there, I'm some guy from the internet. Gonna give a little tutorial on deck building. So in Minion Masters, the first thing you do is build the deck. So you gotta know how to build it right. Every deck needs a theme. You have to have cards that work together. So here, this is my favorite deck, the Demon Warrior. It's built around this card here. Uh, it's a card that you have to play as much as possible because it gets stronger every time you play it. So what do I have? A whole bunch of cheap units that cycle quickly. But then I have these three that are basically my oh shit buttons. You know, uh, this to take down big guys, this to take out AoE threats. Uh, this in case I can't get this guy out in time or I need to eliminate a specific threat. Plus you need a tank. So... That's, a, that's an example of a coherent deck right there. Now, with every deck you gotta keep in mind, these things are gonna be on the field. These are what I call bosses. Also biggies, kaiju, whatever, they're the things with a lot of HP and they'll do a lot of damage to your base. Well, except this guy, he won't do a lot of damage, but he'll protect things that do damage. Uh, so all of these, if you don't have something in your deck that can kill these, well, you're going to lose to these every single time. So you need something that can kill them. This here, everything on this list is something that can potentially kill everything on this list. There's more. I couldn't fit them all. There's so many counters. Uh, this is an expensive option, the dragon pack. Some couple dragon, but they'll tear them apart pretty quickly, and if they don't have any support... It'll do it with no problem. Magma Storm uh, is my least favorite option because it throws down random fireballs. You can't really completely determine where they're going to land. So I don't like that it's unreliable. Laser Turret is my favorite because it will kill anything so long as it has enough time. You got to protect your laser turrets. Uh, people love to drop a beam of doom on them. So, but they're, they cost five and a beam of doom costs six. So even if someone drops a beam of doom on it, you win. You win by one mana plus whatever damage it did. Stun Lancers, you got to be careful with. Uh, if the big guys have support, they'll just kill your Stun Lancers. But if they're unsupported or you can protect the Stun Lancers, perfect. Uh, Magma Cannon... It's not quite as good as the laser turret, but it's cheaper. If you need a cheaper alternative to this guy, it'll work. It's also better at just killing regular mobs as opposed to the giant ones because it's faster. Lightning Bolt, uh, another one I don't like. It's unreliable. You have to kill everything on the field except the kaiju before you use it, but then it'll kill them pretty cheaply. Ghost... Uh, it's another one you have to protect. If, you know, if the big guy has a bunch of plasma marines behind it, it's just going to kill your ghost. But, ghosts can be a very good way to take those things out because, hey, you take control of them. Fire Imp, I think, is an overlooked one. Uh, Fire Imp, probably people think of it as clearing uh, AoE groups, but... All those guys, they walk very slow, so they'll walk in fire forever and get their health just obliterated. Fire Imp is probably my favorite on this list. Well, no. Laser turret's my favorite, but Fire Imp is a close second. Fire Imp is fucking great. Uh, cannon Roller, it can work. Uh, it's, it's again, one that gotta be careful of support. Uh, gotta be careful of support with Fire Imp, too. Fire Imp's fragile. Uh, cannon Roller also can't touch air. This guy can't touch air. But it is good because it hits the big guy and then runs away before it can actually hit them. So it'll just fuck them up. And then we got Curse Bearer. Curse Bearer's aura, when you see there, it loses 3% of max health every second. It can survive a hit from some of those big guys. Uh, if you look at the living statue, it can't hit back, so... A curse bear on a living statue is fucking great. But even when it dies, it leaves the aura for 5 seconds. So it's going to at least do 15% of damage. It's going to do more than that because it's going to live longer than dying instantly, hopefully. Uh, and you can pair these with a lot of other stuff. Uh, any flying unit. 
Uh, Bannerman here gives a shield to him, so they'll at least survive one attack. He's a good addition to any of these. Uh, most of these guys here, they attack really slow. Uh, with the exception of Colossus, they only hit one target. Colossus hits an arc, so you gotta be careful with that. And Directionals are very important when dealing with the Colossus. Um, and yeah, that about covers how to kill the kaiju. You want one of these, or... Yeah. Stuns are good, too. Stuns so you can actually kill it before it kills you. Uh, the big stun here. Little stun here. All good. All good. Now, these here are some options for dealing with AoE threats. Uh, if there's people that just want to overwhelm you with a bunch of shitty little troops. And there's ways to handle that. Stixie is an expensive option. Um, but he's got great momentum. Just keeps killing shit and killing shit. This guy here, very situational. Um, you gotta basically have a bunch of weak little scrats or something you can eat up before he'll get any use out of them. World Bomb... I don't recommend it because it kills your shit too. But if you're using nothing, if you got nothing on the field but a bunch of big guys who can survive the explosion or you have nothing at all on the field, yeah, it can be useful. Blastmancer is my absolute favorite. Uh, it blows up everything on the field when you kill something with it. It's only 20 damage, but that's enough to at least take half the life out of like a crossbow man and two explosions will kill him. Uh, hypnotize, if you get good with Hypnotize, you can easily break up packs and make them fight each other. Uh, it's a really good tool if you get good with it. If you're not good with it, you're just wasting mana. Fireball, it's uh, pretty much been overlooked lately. I don't know why you don't see a lot of Fireballs anymore, but they're great. Like, this guy here, Stixie, you can kill him with the Fireball. You can kill packs of a lot of shit, really. Fire Imp. Uh, Fire Imp's a threat that's 4 mana and it can get killed with the Fireball and kill the things around the same with the Priestess. 60 costs 6 mana and can kill him with it. Kill Ghost. Very good for targeted strikes. Oops. Uh, Chain Lightning, basically the same idea as Fireball, except better for big, big groups stretched across the map. So, I would recommend, while well, you have to have a theme, like... Hey, my theme here, quick cycle cards for a demon warrior. You also have to have a boss killer AoE. No matter what kind of deck you're building, you gotta deal with threats. Uh, some super specialized decks, I guess, just go on their own. Uh, but I recommend having at least one of these and one of these in every deck. Here's another one I've built. Got your boss killer and your AoE threat right there. Oh yeah, that's another AoE thing that I didn't have on this list. Aggrafall. That's my backup for Fire Imp ain't gonna get the job done. Put that on this list here. Aggrafall. The cheaper one hits a good radius, but it won't kill a lot of things. We'll kill a lot of shitty things. Most of the things that you can kill with the fireball, it can survive this. But it'll be super weakened. This here is a Stormbringer deck I've built for shits and gigs. Basically, to be a compliment to this one for my partners to use if they don't know what the fuck to do. Crossbow Guild is kind of what it's built around. Quick cycles get more crossbow guilds down. Purse bear to protect the guys. Fever to protect the guys by taking out threats. Same with the fire imp, yada yada. So uh, hopefully that'll give you a little bit of an idea of what to think of when you're building a deck. Uh, let's, let's build one real quick. So what's the theme going to be? with the uh... 
keeping a Colossus alive. What about that? I don't much care for Colossus decks, but I'm going to build one anyways. So, right there. I already got a tank in the fucking thing. A really expensive tank. Uh, for his AoE, let's make it Soul Stealer, because Soul Stealer can be his aerial support while also getting strong and helping him push to the end. Also, I just don't want to use Blastmancer because I always use Blastmancer. Um, since he is such a big, strong guy, combined with Stun Lancers, he'll kill shit. So there's my help to kill bosses, and there's my get rid of packs of shit right there. Now, Colossus, he needs range support, because Ghost coming for him can turn a 9 card into the enemy's card for only 4 mana. So you want to, well, it's a little, in fact, I might want to double up on the Plasma Marines. Zalong instead. Still a good card even after the nerf. Bigger fall for some range support. Pickle card so you can get those fatties out quicker. So, not the strongest deck, but it built around a theme, actually. Really, if you have a Colossus in your deck, you need a Healing Shrine in your deck. So, what am I going to replace? Let's... Drop the Elite Swarmer. I already got a Curse Bearer, and I already got my real tank. Healing Fireball is okay. This guy here... It just has way too much potential. It can do a thousand fucking healing as for the same price as this, which only does 400. Granted, this is a targeted strike. You can do it anywhere on the field. This, you can only do barely inside of the enemy zone. You can use both. Um, I used to love Priestess before the healing shrine. Used her all the time, but yeah, sounds good now. But yeah, that's a example. Just try to keep that kind of low. Here, my main deck average mana cost three point one. Hmm. This right here seven point one. That's just an example of biggies though. Uh yeah. Any questions, comments, concerns? By all means, ask away. I'm fairly experienced at the game. See here, rank grandmaster. Uh, I'm uh, especially good at team team matches. It's the main thing I do that other people don't is actually support my teammates. <laughs> it's amazing. Most people in duos are playing single player still, and that's a problem. They don't throw out rangers to support your guys that are getting attacked by air units because they're busy building up their own push or whatever. You gotta support your team. That's going to be a whole other video. This is deck building, so I'll, I'll, I'll try to not get off on that rant. Yeah, um, this here is a pretty mediocre deck, but it would work, because it follows a theme, and it has counters. You have to follow a theme, and you have to have counters. Yeah. Don't steal this deck. You could steal the deck. I don't give a shit. Everyone does anyways. It's on the leaderboard, so people steal it. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, Deck Building 101. Very basic stuff. Uh, if you want to help with a specific deck, let me know. I'm always happy to help people get better at the game. I want more good competition in the game. 